today's show, Anthony is going to be explaining exactly how this virtual studio is working. So, Ant, you want to take it away? Okay, well, I'll try and explain as best I can. We're still pretty new to it, but um, like I said before, we're using vMix. And I'm going to share my screen with you now and show you the setup that we've got. So, this is vMix. It looks like there's a lot going on, but it's it's not too bad. Um, okay, let's start off from the beginning. We've got a scene that's made up of multiple. Basically, it's made up of multiple scenes. Um, yeah, we've got a number of layers: background, foreground. We've got a little TV screen in the back, so we can have our interviews and play some videos. And then we've got each individual character being brought in by NDI. Um, with vMix, it's quite cool. You can allocate colors to different things so that you can separate them. Though I've kind of kept everything that I might want to switch between all on one layer. Um, also, that what we've had to do as well is uh, bring in separate audio. So let me talk about NDI first of all. It, it's real simple to do. Um, you want to bring in, add an input. So if it wants to be a video or a background, a video or an image, you just go to add input, and then it gives you your options. So you can see down here um, to bring in NDI. As long as you've got the um, NDI plugins in, I wait there. I'm getting some feedback now because I've got YouTube playing. I'm just gonna turn the audio off of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, as you can see, you can uh, from one computer you've got Scott's character up here, and from another you've got mine. So, say if I selected my character. Okay. There you go. And that gives you your feed. And there's a number of ways of bringing that in. You can bring that in via multi layers, which is how I've got this one set up. Um, I'm just going to talk through it. Like this isn't a a step by step guide. It's just a rough thing. If you've got any questions, we've got the chat open, so we can um, answer any questions you've got on it. But yeah, you might be able to go back and have a look. Uh, yeah, the multi view is how we've set this up. So you can see each layer has a different element. So foreground, background. We've got the video in there with the logo in the back. And there's my head and Scott's head. So if we wanted to bring in a new one, um, I've just brought in that new NDI uh, inputs. There we go. I'm going to stick another one in. And if we don't want it to be there, what we want to do is position it. So you go to position. You know, you can move that around and stick it anywhere you want. So it, to be fair, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, so you can get rid of that one. Put none. I mean, it gets a bit tricky because like now we've got um, our characters in with the different audio. Uh, with that, they, they're not actually bringing any the audio in. So for my one, I've had to bring in an audio input only. Uh, where are you? Audio input. Selected my mic. Pretty straightforward. That gives me. I think I've just turned off the audio for. Um, yeah, no, I've just turned it back on. Then, Scott's character was a bit bit tricky as well. Um, what we've had to do with him is we've downloaded vMix Desktop Capture, and we're using that to capture the mic on his computer, and then using um, NDI to uh, get the input. So we've gone same thing. Go to NDI uh, cap, desktop capture, and then you can see in there vMix de desktop capture NDI, and that's what we're doing to bring in the audio. There we go. Oh, just seen that we've got a comment. Um, no, the questions aren't just on uh, to do with the stream. If you've got any questions about anything, we can try to answer now. Um, if there's if we can't answer it now, we can make a video specific about that. We're going to try and make as many videos as we can to um, help people to use the software um, and push it out, really. Um, so, yeah, yeah that's this, is, this is just our first um, show. 
um, we're talking about vmix because obviously there's a lot of people who are interested in using characters not um, character animator not just for traditional animation but for using it live on youtube for vlogging or gaming sites such as twitch and whatnot so we thought this would be a good show um, because this is a new software that we're using and we're really impressed with it but we've been using character animator for quite a long time now so if you have any questions in regards to any aspects to rigging designing building a character feel free to pop us a question and 